Today I'm gonna break down how I got this look using three lights. A friend of mine posted a series of images from another photographer which inspired me to do this series. The images look like they were taken with only one light, so I wanted to do it with three. So in order to recreate that look in general, I used a Mola Rayo, a 16 inch beauty dish which I placed high and just to one side. And I put it there so it would cast a shadow from his hat onto his face. I then used a flag to darken the model's torso but not his face so the viewer's eyes would be drawn to his eyes. The exposure from this modifier was F11 at 100 ISO when measured on the model's lips. Then, in order to separate the model from the background, I boomed a gridded medium softbox high and behind the model. Many times this would be called a hair light, but in this case, I would call it a hat light. The reason I used the grid was because I wanted the light to be focused just on the model's head and shoulders, and I didn't want it to spill onto the background. The light from this modifier measured at F10, which is also F8 and 2 thirds. At this point, my lighting was a little bit better than the inspiration images, but I really wanted to kick it up a notch. So I added a circular white beauty dish with a sock over it right next to the camera. This way, I could add fill to my image and also create a circular catch light in the model's glasses. The exposure from this modifier measured at f5.6 and a third, or f6.3. Then, in Lightroom, I dodged the reflection in his glasses in order to bring it up so it really stood out in the image. When it came time to take the picture, I set up my camera at 1 200th of a second at F11 at 100 ISO. If there's one mistake I made in this process, well, I should say the biggest mistake that I made in this process was having the model a little bit too far from the background because it became too dark. If I could do it all over again, I would have moved the backdrop up a lot closer because I had to dodge it in post in order to create the final image. Anyway guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I've also written an extensive blog post about this, which I will link to in the description. If you're watching this on IGTV, you can always watch it on YouTube. And if you're watching it on YouTube, please hit subscribe so you can see more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon.